You're a psychologist. I think I look cozy. Okay. So Janelle's not in love with me. I think she thinks I'm hot. I got nice pecs and a great six-pack abs. Over the next three Do you hours, think regret I'm saying down that? with each of the adults. Cody, well, Mary. Well, I think he probably would, but Robin's like, no, you do, Cody. They all know it. This is Sister Wives one on one. Over the next three you hours, think regret I'm saying down that? with each of the adults. Cody, well, Mary. Well, I think he probably would, but Robin's like, no, you do, Cody. They all know it. I don't know much about your relationship with Janelle. Yeah. Did you just have a great, no, did no. you guys just have great sex? Mm. What is that? Did you have great mm. sex? Mm. <laughs> David, that's That's so what he gross. did. That is what he did. I know that's what he did, but I didn't have to relive that. He's so gross. And now you, you're in the same category. Most people fall in love first, right? Physically, yeah. they look at each other compatibly. Yeah. You guys have the spiritual covenant between the two of you. There was definitely physical compatibility. Yeah. I feel like, okay. <laughs> I like... Okay, so we've been making fun of Cody this whole time for the six pack abs and the chest and all that. But every time Suki asks Janelle about it, she's always like, he's fine, you know, <laughs> not gonna lie. So when you fought, makeup, make oh, it yeah. up was really uh, oh, yeah. the best part of it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the best part of it all. Suki. You know, he would ask me to do things and ask me to be a certain way or ask me to fix a situation or ask me to share some information with him or whatever. All these things to be able to fix our relationship. What do you think about that? This idea that in all of his relationships, we haven't gotten to Robin yet, but I'm assuming that she was pretty submissive. What do you think about the fact that in every relationship Cody is pushing people to be a certain way? I'm having a really hard time hearing it. I feel like it's a, so abusive. Yeah. Uh, I It is so crazy to me. Like, you have to earn my love. It's so oppressive. Like, yeah. you have to be this way. And then, of course, like, you take the person out of it. And then he falls out of love with them. Of course that happens. You think that you want them to be a certain way. But in reality, like, it takes out who you fell in love with. If they're you're trying to, like, mold them into mm -hmm. the perfect person. Um, I feel like then they're no longer who they are. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I, well, I think there's, I mean, I think there's two things. Like, so the first, I think you're right on about the abuse part. So that is like step one in psychological manipulation. We think about how, you know, the stereotypical abuser takes over. They essentially make, you know, they, they do two things. One, they, uh, undercut somebody's confidence. Mm-hmm they they prevent their that the abused partner from seeking support from the outside world like cody does and then you put all of these sort of boundaries on them you have to be this way you have to show up and do that for me you have to bend you know what i mean it's it's essentially you're you're you are walling them off from the world and themselves and then i think it follows what you're saying absolutely now that you've walled them off from the world yeah you've pared this person down so that they're not the real person that you originally fell in love they're, with. And now they're now you're bored by them. Yeah. You're like, oh. Yeah. And then, yeah, I feel like that's what happened. Is that like a dagger in your heart? <laughs> it's like a knife in my kidneys. <laughs> Man, just a <laughs> knife in the kidneys over all these years. I wanted to say one other thing. Can I say one other thing? Uh -huh. Th this idea of w when we talk about walling somebody off, I can't tell you how many times both as a therapist and an executive coach I have seen clients who start off, start off their lives in a relationship where they have low self-esteem, low sense of self, and they are wanting someone to come in and control things for them. They, 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 it's really simple to live that way. All I have to do is whatever, you know, cook a certain way, clean a certain way, take care of the kids a certain way, and my husband's happy. But then as that, as the wife in this case grows and develops and gets more confidence and sees more of the world, they become super dissatisfied, right? Mm -hmm. And that's part of, I think, the friction. But I was always a life-affirming person. I would always affirm what I wanted. And so I told her and, and did everything I could to love her. What is it? It's... um manifesting mm, he's man oh yeah <laughs> cody believes in the secret 
Like, in order for us to see each other. Yeah. There's some cognitive dissonance going on here. And we're not admitting where we're at. Did I complain about his misuse of the term cognitive dissonance? Cody has a lexicon of psychology terms I think he consistently misuses. And I don't know exactly what he means by cognitive dissonance here, but I think he's saying, I think he's misusing it. So cognitive dissonance is when you believe one thing, you value one thing, and then act in opposition to it. The cognitive dissonance is the, is the sort of psychological distress that is caused when your values and your behaviors don't line up. Mm -hmm. He's using the term here, I think he's saying it's cognitive dissonance because we are lying to ourselves. Which just, I just feel like I, on this channel, I have to technically say it's not really cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Being wrong or being biased or be, like whatever he's thinking is happening here uh, is not the definition of cognitive What's dissonance. What's another term for lying to yourself? There's a psychological term for it. But I can't think of it. I don't know. There's a lot of them. What do you, say more about it. Lying in what way? When you're lying to yourself, like not admitting it. Denial? Yeah. That's the Are you going to actually <laughs> address the concern that you have? What concern? How annoying is Robin? Like that like every every part of that scene is so bothersome to me, but her expressions like the all -knowing. knowing. Yeah. The woman, by the way, that can't figure anything out. She like, knows nothing about anybody. She's always crying, I don't understand why. And then she acts like she is the pinnacle of emotional intelligence. It is so patronizing. It is It is so patronizing. Does it bother you? It does too? not mean I'm leaving. <laughs> um, Just like, do, their, do her facial expression. <laughs> I would have been like, oh, yeah, I yeah. hate your guts. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a concern. And then, and it's then a, do, your, a, do, do the facial. It's a pseudo concern. <laughs> no, facial expression and the head nod. I don't know. She goes... I, uh... <laughs> barn Dominion is basically a big, giant garage or barn <laughs> that has a loft apartment <laughs> in it. You could live in that loft. It's ridiculous. I know I've, we've already reacted to that original episode, but it is insane to me. I love the, watching their reactions. The wives, and they're, they're all going like, oh my God, we, I spent 20 years with that. You know? Well, and the idea that he's, like, so mean to Mary, like, I just, like, he, on TLC, like, it yeah. feels, he feels okay about being that mean. He, he doesn't. He, he, he looks he, so mean. You look so bad. He does not. I am just telling you, this is, uh, he does not get, he's not, he's not trying to be mean. He just doesn't get it. it, it he is emotionally unable to experience or understand. He doesn't even, he does not know there are people around him. I have a really hard time with that. People that don't have any well of emotions. So like, I think, I mean, <laughs> I know what you're saying, but I just want to say, he has a deep well of emotions <laughs> that are his, but he doesn't have any recognition that there are other people in the world around him. So like his experience, like this is a perfect example. His experience of this is, I don't want to be with Mary. Mary, it's very clear. He, he goes, Mary has no idea what she wants. No, Mary knows exactly what she wants. She wants you to give a shit about her. She wants a relationship with her husband, but she feels like she has to leave because you're giving her zero, right? That We all sort of recognize that. Mm -hmm. But he's like, you wouldn't believe this broad that has no idea what she wants, so I'm going to give her options. <laughs> Let me tell you about the barn dominium. I mean, it's such a wild leap, but he's so self-interested. Well, he's so self-involved. He's like, hmm, how can we make this work out in my uh -huh. favor? Yeah, and now he's excited about it. This is a good opportunity. All the money that mm -hmm. you have, you could just make a barn for me <laughs> since you love me. And then you live on top of my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So great. I put all the crap that I don't like in that barn. Just leave it there. It is so... You included. You are so smart, Cody. I will always love her. I can't be in love with her. It's not safe for me. It's not safe Who, for him? Which wife is he talking about right there? Mary. Oh. It's not safe for him? Is it because of the catfish? 
I don't know. How long was that? Was that seven years ago? I don't know, but he caused the catfish, right? In the past, she said, why don't you have a conversation with your dad? I'll be there because, you know, I speak Cody. Mm -hmm. And my kids are like, it's our dad. We don't really need you to speak Cody. It does that. That's so, that is, that seems like very manipulative. Super manipulative. Very, like, yeah. Yeah, very. like, like she had, she has, she's like an octopus. She's got her arms in everything. <laughs> That's merch right there. We could do a ramen faced octopus. Octopus. Her to come to this conversation with Cody because. Oh, you asked her to be here? Yeah, wow. I asked her. Wow. Why yeah. did you ask her? Because um, she speaks Cody. Yeah, but I think that for the other, for Janelle and for Christine, I think at this stage of the game, they were more, they had more self confidence. Cody has been, I think, so controlling. He has, he has cut marry off from so much of her life i think like socially that i think she lacked confidence in her ability to navigate the relationship mm -hmm. with him and so she wanted anybody to speak cody you, yeah. you know what i mean but yeah. i think the other two had like, more confidence and i bet you now like i wonder if we talked to mary in a year if she'd be like no i can speak cody just fine he's an a-hole and that's a, you know he doesn't say what I wanted to say, but I can hear him. Yeah, you know, we we speak Cody. Just so you know, I speak Except Cody. The fact that Robin, don't put this pressure on me of the the fact that we're a family because we're not. You know, there's this cognitive dissonance. I'm like, well, well, maybe you should have communicated that we weren't. He's very good at telling people what he thinks, but he's not good at advising them like how to be. He he's not going to solve the problem for her. So he'll say. I want you to go live in the barn, but he won't say, hey, Mary, we should end the relationship and you should go find love somewhere else. Like yeah. he won't help somebody. He'll just insult them. Do you think it's because like he hadn't, didn't have enough experience breaking up with people because he got married so young? I, like it's a skill set, Dr. Drew says, to break up I, with people. I agree it's a skill set. In Cody's case, I think that he just shows so many narcissistic behaviors that it's he doesn't think about helping somebody he just thinks about like that'd be a sick thing to have a place for my car yeah it's like a that's, two, it's a that's, twofer that's a twofer <laughs> yeah take care of this problem that's he's just not even thinking about her 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 mm -hmm. i found out that a story was brought up about me that is not a story that i have ever shared publicly that is my story to tell when where and how I want to. I think if she's wanted... projecting right now. Like she's really mad at Cody, but like it's easier to be mad at Christine. Like the, mm -hmm. the hurt, Mary, we love you, but the hurt comes from Cody and Robin. It's not coming from Christine. Christine didn't hurt you. It's... I, I'm trying to, I'm, we'll see what she says here, but my guess is that she's really embarrassed. Because if you just hear that story, it's such an incredibly um, dismissive, I'm trying. To, it's a, it's, a, it's such a fucked up thing for Cody to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to melt down the wedding ring because I don't want to honor the relationship that I had with you. I'm going to melt it down and keep the and keep and keep all the gold, keep all the riches from it. But I'm going to dissolve our relationship. And she put up with it. And she didn't even she, know about it. She he didn't. Up, he didn't even tell her. She she has put up over the course of the relationship. And again, I have not watched every season, but I know that. She got divorced for Robin, mm -hmm. right? She has been fourth fiddle, it seems like, forever. She deals with Cody telling her to go live in the barn. To I mean, he, he so mistreats her for so long. And I think that objectively, if you watch it, I mean, I have felt like, why the hell are you hanging around? And then you hear this story in that, that is such a fucked up thing to do. Mm -hmm. I think she's embarrassed by it. Mm-hmm. I mean, can I see, like, she's more mad at Christine in these interviews than she is at Cody, and Cody, like, is outwardly abusive. Y yes. Well, I agree that Christine probably shouldn't have shared it, and I also think that um, Christine is a safe person for her to get mad at. Mm -hmm. She's still, I think part of Mary is still, like, pining for Cody. Mm -hmm. And I can't get mad at that person because that per it's like it's like um, uh, you know when the, when, when uh, parents get divorced, a kid will often act out with the parent that they are. That's the safe parent, 
And then when they're with the parent that they never see or that mistreats them, they'll be on their best behavior because that per parent's not safe in that. I think Christine's safer for Mary than Cody is. He had told me that he did not want me to have claim on him. And so his way of doing that was to melt down the wedding ring. That was a symbol. He's been so abusive for so Terrible. long. Terrible to I'm her. I'm so sorry, Mary. We all think he sucks. And I spent those seven years trying to, like, be in this relationship with Cody that he did not want to be in with me. I feel so bad for her. I feel bad for I her, agree. too. It's interesting to see this, and then, like, if you follow her social media, she seems like she's... I feel like it... I think in 10 years, she will look back, and this will have been a very important year for her. Because mm -hmm. her life has been, at least in my opinion, it has felt like it's been very shitty for over a decade. You know what I mean? And while this is a painful year for her, where she's at now and I think what her future looks like is very different. Because she's, I think because of social media and all of this, I think she has b broken out a little bit from Cody's control. I mean, he's just, he is just, I mean, that is, the, I mean, he is absolutely controlled her. I mean, it is super emotionally abusive. Wow. It is, it is shocking that how mean he could have been to someone and how, like, how much confidence he took away. Yeah. You know? Yes. And while he's just being like, I'm falling in love. I'm falling in love. And right. like, he's got this path behind him. Yeah. It's, I can't make any diagnoses here. I've not interacted with Cody, but a case like this fits, matches the diagnostic criteria for narcissism, right? Cody shows zero empathy for her. His behavior for her, like the idea of, um, yeah, look what I did, I melted it down. Not trying to hurt her. It's just whatever I want is more important. I am special and you can't hold me down. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to make this big change. And he doesn't even connect the fact that it's hurtful for her. It's really hard for me to understand narcissism. Because, like, to me, that seems mean. It's, like, being so self-involved and not caring about other people is, like, very mean. Yeah. And so, like, when you say he's not trying to be mean, yeah. I don't think he's... But he is mean. And, like, I don't think... I feel like... I feel like when we diagnose him as a narcissist, it gives him a pass for being a huge douche. <laughs> I think it, it's a good, it's a really I good... I don't like it. I'm like, he's a narcissist, but like, still he's mean. Like, But it's not... Uh, so first of all, he's... This is, to me, this is abusive. Mm -hmm. So uh, the impact is horrific. I'm just saying that if you look at Cody, there's a thing when you I think when you watch Cody where you go, at least I have, you look at him and go, oh, he's well intended. He, th I think Cody thinks he's a good father. I think Cody thinks he's a good husband. I think Cody thinks he's a man of the people. Whatever he mm -hmm. has this deluded sense of self, and so it's hard to have that sort of line up with this horrific behavior. And I think it doesn't line up because Cody wants to be one thing, thinks he's one thing. But his behaviors are just atrocious. And the way that that happens is if you don't really connect what... He just can't feel what she's feeling. Mm -hmm. He knows it's sad. Like, if you ask him, is that sad? He would go, it's sad. But does he feel it? No. No. Just doesn't get it. Am I being fair with you? You're being honest with me. And you're being kind, and I appreciate that. Doesn't mean I'm not mad at you for not giving me what we promised each other. Poor thing. I know. I feel so bad. I don't for feel her. like he's kind. What? No. He because he sat there and was like, no. Like after you put him on the spot, then he says, no, we're not going to be together. Like that was kind. Uh, <laughs> it's just like a. It's just like a. I mean, hmm. I, I, mean I think Mary's the world's sweetest person in this relationship. Like, like the idea that he treats her the way he has for that long. Right? He manipulates her. He's emotionally abused. He neglects her. And then he finally goes and says, I don't view us as married anymore. And then, and then she, and he goes, am I being kind? Or am I being fair? And she's like, you're being kind. What? what? How is that kind? 
should have happened. What is the a term ago. where like you beat a dog but they still come back to you? Like the beaten dog. What is that? I don't know, but that's a good. Really that's good it's that's like a, she's a, a. Mary, what do you need in this marriage? Right. I can't give you that. We can fake through this, and I'm willing to actually put more effort into that fake if you want to. But wait. And see, and he's saying, if you look at, he's saying it like earnestly, like. Let's just fake I was everyone. Really, I was really willing to do that for you, Mary. One, and I've dissected my relationship with Robin. Her personality type loves drama. Sorry, I don't know how to let this go. And this isn't me just being dramatic. Let's go. <laughs> that is a good. That is a good edit, right? The produ the producers did that, and I commend them. <laughs> Good. It wasn't as good was, as the last one. I thought it was good. I thought it was. I thought it was good. I thought it was sad. Um, good for good for Mary for getting out. I thought Suki did okay in this one. Like I didn't find myself irritated by her not pushing things. I think she's more comfortable pushing. As it relates to Mary. Mm -hmm. What she you know what she stopped short on though she asked good questions but she stops for short on. I wish she would hold Cody's feet to the fire and she doesn't do that. No. Cause Co probably because Cody like disengages when she does. Like we yeah, only he see gives some like like no, I can't answer that. That's somebody else's story. Well, it's that, or it's or it, it turns into philosophical Cody. You know, <laughs> well, where are we? Well, what, we, <laughs> in what world does that exist? <laughs> what you know? He's <laughs> ridiculous. Thank you for listening. Thank you.